<laughs> two weeks. It lasted two weeks. Well, probably a little bit longer because the last time I summoned was the support banner. But as you guys can see, I caved. All it took was a Nami and for my simp ass to cave on a treasure map banner. Ah, well, if you guys have been following the channel, if you guys saw the video I put out about nine days ago, I did record it a little bit before that, but if you guys saw that video, I put out a video that said, I will not summon to New Year's, and if I do, there is a particular punishment. Now, I have my reasons for summoning, but look, you guys don't care about that. Good PvP unit, really good for every single treasure map coming up. You guys really don't care. All you guys care about is that you've come to this particular video to see that my simp ass, my weak-minded self, failed my challenge. And that means I have to sell my Super Tandem Luffy. So, I ended up going to 9 multis on the Nami Karina banner. Um, we had some pretty good luck, as you guys can see here. This, this multi, was, multi was fire. I did pick up both the rare recruits. And I picked up um, Izo, who I was missing, plus we got Nami Karina, so this tre treasure map is going to be a little bit easier than what initially entailed. Um, for the sake of the video, I am going to release the treasure map teams that I did or originally post in last night's video. So don't stress, I, I will sort of showcase how those teams operate. Um, and then I'll sort of go forward and sort of make new teams with the batch as well. But yes, I did, um, I did cave, and look, let me... Let me cop it in the comment section. I definitely deserve it. I need to make myself accountable so I can overcome this addiction, I guess we'll call it, or this problem of just summoning willy-nilly. Um, and to do that, I do need to make myself accountable. Like I said, you guys are going to berate me. Have your opinions. Let them be known in the comment section. Say what you like. Um, but I'm here. I'm putting my hand up. I said, yes, I did it. I summoned. And uh, we are now going to suffer the consequences. So, we're going to do it the right way. We're going to head over to Rayleigh's Bazaar. Well, it's been a pleasure. This particular character, the anniversary character of last year, has been one of my favorite characters to use. Um, it was a journey getting into Super Tandem Level 5 on release. Um, but we do have a lot of extra copies, so we can get him back. However, we lose an ink effect, we lose a bunch of cotton candy. We lose with a bunch of limit break materials and a 150 unit. Rest in peace, Super Tandem Luffy. So, there we go. I'm a man of my word. As I said, I need to be better now. That was my one freebie or my one out, as if you guys want to call it. Because if I just go down here, I can basically just do this and um, level up another one. So, we just go like this. Uh, put all those dupes in like that. Love to see that for us. And then we can build up another one. Now, yes, you guys probably said in the comment section, but Stump, this is a huge out for you. You can summon one time, and it's basically an extra freebie. And yes, that's why I did it, because I know I am a functional addict. I am aware of my addiction. I am aware that breaking this addiction, even if it's only till New Year's, is going to be something that is very challenging to do, and is going to be something that I'm not going to be perfect at as well. But I wanted to give myself a little bit of leeway in letting myself know that it's okay, but also feeling the pain and the suffering of having to actually do this all over again. Now, again, yes, you guys can sit there and say, Stomp, like, it's really not that big of a deal. You lose a character that you just can get back. Super 10 level 5 and everything. However, if you guys know me, you guys know I do not like grinding up materials. You guys will know that I do not like playing treasure map to extensive lengths and having characters limit break expanded is a very like big luxury to me like it's it's something that i don't take lightly i know a lot of other whales and a lot of other big time players will probably say yeah you can just limit break him again and that's all fine but if you guys remember if you guys watched the video as well um you guys now get to pick a, another character that i have to level limit break now in the comment section below on this video and on the other video stating that i wasn't going to summon until new year's um a lot of people put out a bunch of different suggestions i'm going to get a couple of my buddies to vote for some of them and i'm going to create some polls so if you guys haven't hit the bell notification or if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that so that way you don't miss out on any of the fun um because i want you guys to vote on a legend for me to limit break expand now i don't have to limit break expand luffy again um obviously it's good for pvp but it's something that i don't have to do um i would like to do it 
but obviously I just need to farm up the materials. I'm going to try and play this treasure map as much as I possibly can, uh, because I definitely need to re-farm a bunch of materials to do so, but like I said, now that we've got Luffy... Oh, I've used the wrong tablets. Cool. But now that we've got Luffy back up to 150, um, we can limit break him. I don't have materials. I'm actually, like, so down and out on materials, it's not even funny. So, I really do need to play this treasure map for, for multiple reasons. Uh, but now that I have the batch, I have no real excuse to do that. Oh, no excuse not to do that, I should say. And, um, like I said, please let me know what character you guys would like to see Limit Break expanded in the comment section below. Also, send me to the realm. Say what you will, but look, I'm a man of my word. I said that I was going to do it, and now it gets really, really challenging. Because if I break this one more time, I have to sell my Super Tandem Shanks. And selling Super Tandem Shanks isn't as luxurious as selling this particular Luffy. Shanks, I don't have a bunch of copies that I can just feed straight in to another Shanks to build him up. Remember, I do still have an out in a crazy PvP unit. I was thinking of using it on this Nami Karina, because in PvP, they are absolutely insane. Uh, but I thought for you guys, um, this would make better content, and uh, would just look a little bit nicer, actually standing up to my word and actually saying, you know what? Um, I summoned, I'm going to take the consequences, and that's that. So, if you guys aren't summoning to New Year's, let me know in the comment section below as well. Best of luck if you are, because look, it's definitely not an easy feat. It's definitely something that's not easy to do, and um, it shows right here that a long-time player, a long-time uh, summoner, it's just not something that I'm going to be able to break super easy. But look, I'm going to keep doing my best, 1% better every single day, and I'm going to make myself accountable every single time I break something that I say that I'm not going to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go down there, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff for me, hit the bell notification so you guys can see which character I have to limit break expand, and make sure to hit up the polls, because um, there'll be a couple of them coming in the future, and then I'll do a video on that sort of stuff too. Most importantly though, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, Please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.